So, uh, time to do a video before I go to work, and I thought I'd do a qu fun, quick review here on YouTube instead of Patreon. I felt like this one was like, eh, there's not really a lot here, so I was like, I'll just do a fun, quick review of Muppet Haunted Mansion. If you guys know me, I love the Muppets, and I love the Haunted Mansion. So to see them together was, uh, when it was announced that we were getting a Muppet Mansion... Like, a, yeah, Muppets Haunted Mansion. I was like, cool! I really like that. I, I think that's pretty cool. I really want to see that. And I watched it. Um, what did I think of it? Well, um, it's the Muppets. You can't really take it seriously. Uh, that's the first and foremost. You can't really, um, take this seriously. And if you do, you can't really look at this like a, like an objective review. Like, you can't say, oh, it sucked. But having said that, I will say... Um, <laughs> um, it's a very cheap, it looks, it, I don't know if, like, Disney just really slashed the budget on this, but there is, like, some really, like, really bad CGI in here, and, like, bad blue, uh, like, um, green screen. I don't know if, like, the, but they blew the budget on the, on the guest appearances, but, like, I, I don't know. Uh, it just felt kind of cheap. I mean, this is one of the cheaper Muppet specials I've seen. And I've seen a lot of them. Um, but other than that, like, I mean, they even, like, here's the thing, though. They actually, like, bring it up. Like, they actually bring up, like, there's actually a few good jokes about the budget, even though they're on Disney Plus and are owned by Disney who have oodles and oodles of money. Um, there's, <laughs> there's literally a great moment where Beaker and Bunsen are talking to one another, and they're like, "Why? Uh, too bad we couldn't get a better cameo. And me, 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 budget. <laughs> uh, so that, uh, so I'm glad they, like, acknowledge that there is, um, that there's, like, a, there's a budget, like, the budget was really slashed here. Like, I thought, I thought that was really funny. There's also some really good jokes in here, too. Again, the Muppets, I think, are really great at humor. Um, they've always been some of the greats when it comes to, like, um, all-ages humor. And there's actually, like, some good ones here. I will say, though, that while I do like Pepe as a character, Pepe the King Prawn as a character, for some reason, it, like, I miss Gonzo with uh, with Rizzo. I miss the pairing of Gonzo and R Rizzo because um, Pepe, while he does play, like, he does play, like, a good foil to Gonzo's insanity... Um, Rizzo played it better because Rizzo was, like, a re like not really eccentric like Pepe is. It feels like sometimes Pepe and Gonzo try to out-eccentric one another. With Rizzo, it was like, he's just along for the- he is just the tag-along. He is just- he is just there, and he got roped into this. He's like the friend who got roped into the thing he didn't want to do. Whereas Pepe is like, oh, I want to meet the famous people. This is how he- uh, this is my Pepe impression. He's like, oh, I want to meet the famous people. And that's kind of it. There's actually a really good jump scare in his scenes. I was like, wow. A jump, a good jump scare that you knew, you kind of saw coming, but you're like, they're not going to jump scare us. There's no way there's going to be, oh my god, that was a jump scare in a Muppets special. Um, so I thought that was pretty, so I thought that was pretty funny. Um, very well done. Um, there was also some neat songs, and there's actually some great references to the Haunted Mansion itself. Like, there's, um, some nice little references to the Haunted Mansion in that there are, like, some really deep cuts. So if you are, like, a fan of not just, like, the lore of Haunted Mansion, but also, like, the ride history of the Haunted Mansion, like, all the little references to the ride itself, then you're definitely gonna want to keep your eyes open for this. Like, you're definitely gonna want to, um, keep your both eyes open for bo for all the references um, I really did enjoy, um, there's also, like, a great joke about the ride itself, and you'll know it when you see it, it's in the middle of a song, and I thought that was, like, <laughs> that's, that was clever, that was clever, that, I really did like that, um, but like I said, there's, like, some moments in here where it's, like, we got, where we get, um, where we get CGI, where I'm, like, do we, that, that could have been a Muppet, like, at the end, there's, like, three characters who show up in really bad CGI, and it makes me go, why didn't we get a Muppet version of those characters? I feel like that would have been better. That was, that was just kind of, um, my, my train of thought was, like, is some of the stuff in here where it's, like, CGI, and I'm like, kind of wish that was, that was, like, a practical effect. Um, 
Also, the story of Gonzo facing his fear, I kind of figured it out, as well as a, a few other things. But then again, like, you don't need... There's no, like, big mystery when it comes to Muppet stuff. So, you kind of figure... Muppet, you know, Gonzo's greatest fear is pretty... Like, you figure it out real quick. Like, you already know, oh, that's, you know, it's obvious what his fear is. Um, yeah. All in all, if you're a fan of the Muppets and the Haunted Mansion... Yeah, I'd say check this out. It's if you're on if you got Disney Plus, it's worth a watch. It's under an hour. It's like over a little over fifty minutes, so it's a nice little hour killer, um, and it's just pretty fun. L is it low budget? Yeah, um, but I think like it, as long as it, it knows how to work around the low budget. So hopefully, you know, Disney doesn't kill the Muppets because I've been like even like Frank Oz has said like they don't, the Disney has like some. Dis uh, some dispassion for the Muppets. I don't know why. Um, so, I'm always happy to see, like, the Muppets in stuff, and I'm kind of hoping we get a Christmas special for, for this. I I want more Muppet stuff. I love the Muppets. Yeah, I've never really said that out loud. I really, I love the Muppets, so it would be nice to see them, uh, I would love to see more stuff, especially on Disney+. Plus. So, like I said, if you're a fan of the Haunted Mansion and or the Muppets, give Haunt a Muppets Haunted Mansion a watch. Um, but yeah, other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. If you, um, if you haven't already, go check out the link below to my Patreon and check out some Patreon-exclusive videos, such as my Venom Let There Be Carnage review, Vision, uh, Star Wars Vision review, and recently my Marvel What If review. Um... Become a Patreon there, and if you hit the fourth tier, you can be a, a um, you can get a, asked for a Patreon request, and I will do it here on YouTube. Anyway, other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.